to another daily unboxing video with me, Melody! And today we're looking at Kingdom Wars! War of the Three Kingdoms, or just for short, WTK. There we go. And then here on the other side, we got the story here. And then down here we got, it says, 18 and up for 2 to 12 players, and it will take about 20 to 40 minutes. 18 and up? Huh, okay. Anyway, let's open this up and see what we got inside. Do, do, do. Plastic. No plastic. And then open it up like a book, kind of. Now here we got, speaking of books, we got the rule book. So, ooh, I like the artwork on the front though. Doesn't really match the artwork on the front here. I like this one better. But here we go, rule book. First we got artwork here, then you got more story forward, then you got game accessories, goal of the game, and preparation. Now in this game you got some more preparation, then at the very bottom it says playing the game, more rules, then hidden and exposed generals, then you got elimination. Oh, this game has elimination? Well, if you like that, I, there you go. And you got end of the game, perfect pair, and you got dust match, marker cards, game variation, basic concepts, you got attack range, judgment, suit and number, zone, all sorts of rules here. Even more here, so you got like passive skills and limited skills, use, play, and discard, events and reaction, settlement, deduction of health point and source of damage. Dying and Elimination, Exposing and Concealing, Forces, The Ultimate Principle. And then you got the different cards here. It's like basic cards, spell cards. And on the next page, more spell cards. More spell cards. Lots of spell cards in this game. So this just kind of tells you what all the different cards are, I guess. Because we're still on spell cards. Except now we moved on to the equipment cards. It's the very first thing. Shows like a dead frog looking thing. Ew. The more equipment cards. And we got more rules. The appendix. Lots of stuff for the appendix. And then a yellow box. Then you got the second appendix, which has all the different cards and stuff. Then we got more stuff for the second appendix here. And then, more stuff. And then at the very end, we got these little table charts. And then at the very bottom, the credits. And on the back, artwork. So cool. So that's the rule book. Then we also got cards in this box. So let's open this up. See what we got in here. So, all we gotta do is open up the cards. Cut that open there. Out. So these are the general cards, and do you know how I know? It says general. He's like, totally I can read that. No, 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 it just says general. So these all say general? Yep. So we have different general cards. There's lots and lots of tiny text at the very bottom. So lots of different artwork. I like the artwork in here, but man, these cards have a lot of text on them. So these are all the different generals. All their different artwork. Nice artwork, I should say. It's not spooky artwork, and it's not like cartoonish either. So, it's just really nice. And I like how all the different, all the de generals are all different too. So, them, oh, so first we have blue, then red. Now we're in green generals. Now, here we go. Lots of text. <laughs> If you're playing this game, prepare for a lot of reading. So that was the first deck of the generals. Then we have another one that has like this weird circular thing going on over here. But the front of this is also just more generals that you got in the game. Let's open that up. So here we get some more green generals. Let's see? And then is this more generals here? Yep, there's like the either black or white color, I'm not sure but, or gray, it's gray. So more generals. Oh, this is the girl that's on the back of the rule book. 
She matches. And then more artwork, more text. Ooh, what's this? In the back, oh, it's a yin yang thing. Okay, so perfect pair, perfect pair. And then, like I said, the other side still says yin yang. And got, okay, I don't know what this is. It's just the back of yin yang stuff. Then you got ambitionist with that type of back. And then you got three circles. On this si other side, you got four circles. Okay, I guess that's it. Card quality is very normal. Card stuff is bendy because, like, cards are normally this bendy. So, very normal. It's average. Then we also got some more cards on the other side. So, on this side, you got the actual title of the game on the back of these. And then you open them. Oh, it kind of looks like playing cards because here you got Ace, Two, Three, and of course they have like their different things with the different things that you're going to be doing. So, here's all the heart cards. So you got attack, different actions, more attacking here, dodge, dodging is important. Then you got diamonds, which is peach. Forget attacking, just eat. Got it. It's like, why fight when you can just sit there and eat? Duh. And then you got some more actions here. And then here's dodge, more dodging. Wine. See, the diamonds just want to sit and eat. Oh, never mind. They want to attack too. But it's mostly eating. <laughs> eh, never mind. We just got three attacks right there. They finished eating and apparently are ready to fight. Got it. Then you got the spades. No, those are clovers. The other one's spades. Clover. So, like, they all have the ace through king. And then we got attack, attack, attack. And then more of the special cards. And attack again, and wine. And yep, so they all have, like, the joker, queen, king. Which is kind of weird. It doesn't really look like they differentiate stuff. Like, here's the king and queen, and they're the exact same card. With so much text on it. Ugh. Okay, so this is the spade. Okay, the artwork on these cards I don't like as much. They're black and white and kind of creepy looking. So, there we go. Yeah, it looks like the diamonds was the only one that's food. But that's those were those cards. And then on the other side, we got some more cards with the suits. Just different starting cards, I guess. Or different cards, because the first one here says Brotherhood. The ace for the heart here is raining arrows. So you got oh look, never mind. They have food here too. Cause look, peach. And then, so, more peaches. Lots of peach. Whoa, that's, okay. So, yep, it's just basically a lot of the same in this pile. Just a lot of different suits with their numbers and weapons and attacking dodges, peaches, and wine. And armor. Here's clover. Attack! And then... Babe. So, yep. Very simple. Keep looking at all the cards. Ooh, that's cool. And then, yep. So that's all the cards in this game. Is there anything hidden underneath this? Nope. Nothing's underneath the insert. It's just cards. So, voila! That's everything for this game. So that was today's daily unboxing video of Kingdom Wars. War of the Three Kingdoms. I'm Melody and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.